starting. We got heavy boy versus heavy girl. With girl that has heavy girl in it, heavy boy in his pocket. I don't know how this is gonna go, honestly. I don't know how much experience uh, Beast has with the uh, DK matchup. From watching Dan earlier, he. <laughs> Dude, that punch is funny, and that's definitely like Dan's favorite thing to do. Just do that giant punch. Off the ledge. But you know, not a bad option, has super armor. And. Oh, oh, okay. And Dan did not go onto the stage, very good. The Beast has been kind of feeling himself tonight. I kind of, I, I really respect the energy. You know, Dan's like, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, oh! <laughs> no, not like this. <laughs> not like this. Oh no, that was you know, not even like a tech. He's <laughs> taunted back, bro. You're gonna get spikes. What are you doing? Why are you going off stage against Ivy? You trying to die? No, Beast is like, yo, I gotta, I gotta stay. I gotta stay uh, Charizard. He's looking, he's looking to get punched. Uh, and, uh, ooh, good. Yo, good. No, what? What happened? Who likes spikes? It was Dan. Okay, so, uh, <laughs> Dan, that came from you, dude. Your connection it dropped. Was, it was a dramatic uh, pause. <laughs> it was a dramatic pause to set up for the flare blitz. Holy shit! I don't. <laughs> Uh, Dan, we actually have a lag tester. It came from you. You dropped uh, eight packets. You can see in the top right corner of the video uh, when it happened that it was uh, it was coming from you. I don't know if you want to replay the uh, the lag spike. I didn't have the. Sp Spike itself in there, but like you can see the numbers on him. Alright, so we're going to town and city. He's in the top right corner, it says uh, under P. That stands for uh, packet or packet drops. Yep, yeah, uh, you're talking about under F for flags. F's? Well, that just, I mean, those are the packet drops. But yeah, alright, F flags. It's flagging packet drops, right? Yeah. Is my understanding? Yep. I can't believe Lurk is entering under Beast's tag. It's time to DQ her. Also, L Lyric Zard's pretty good. It's almost it's better than Beast Zard, apparently. Would have thought. Yeah, we have a uh, town and city, which again is a pretty good choice from Dan the Man. Uh, it does allow him to uh, use the platforms to come back and kind of regain space. However, he does need to remember that Charizard and Ivysaur are not characters that are shy about attacking the platforms. Uh, they're both characters with pretty good hitboxes for hitting above them, and they can poke pretty well overall. That's a mm, nice down air. It was a pretty good down there to take advantage of the fact that Beast was still kind of not a great spot. Okay, interesting, uh... Char... <laughs> what? This Char... Did she yell Charizard when he gets grounded? Crazy. Anytime a Pokemon gets grounded, she'll, like, 
cry. Yell their name. Uh, she'll be like, ah! Or, or say their name. <laughs> oh, that's cool. All right, well, Dan, uh, he still has a bit of a lead. But these are super heavy boys, and these guys both have big spikes. And honestly, we've been seeing a lot of that primarily as the main way to kill. Can't be playing off stage against either of these characters or these players because they're both pretty damn good at taking advantage of that. All right, Dana. Ooh, okay. And Beast is still pretty good. Just took a little bit of extra damage from colliding into the stage. But not too bad. And the up air gonna finish it, just barely dying. It's this town and city after all. The inverse of Smash 4 Town and City. Oh yeah, and the hurtbox shift from the down air from Beast is gonna give him a little bit of extra a little bit of extra safety. Uh alright. And Dan holding a pretty decent lead. He's able to get some strong, solid hits in overall so far. Oh, that, could, that was not great, but Beast was not able to capitalize on it. And now Dan is looking for the landing. He's looking to get some kind of hit. Good up air. One more hit like that, and that might be the stock, but a great back air, even if it wasn't a... Uh, Properly spaced for the sweet spot, it still uh, did the trick. Very nice. And these are the moments when Beast is the scariest, when he's got you at those kind of high percent, those kind of low percents, but near the edge. And he could totally murder you, just barely misspacing that backer that would have done it. Is this gonna be it? That is it. I never notice he squeezes his arms together to, for the uh, when he does that throw. Okay. And just like that, we have a 1-1 one, one set. So apparently, um, <laughs> apparently Beast is actually talking on Lurk's account. That's funny. I don't even know. All right, for losers we have right now playing is Arya versus Mouse Rat in Loser's Quarters. Uh, this is the best of three set, and we have Mega versus Sourdough. Mega's currently up 1-0. Uh, the winners of those will fight each other, and that will be the next thing on stream, guys. So Smashville, a very interesting choice from Beast. I'm not sure if uh, Dan banned PS2, or if the consideration was literally, I really don't want to have you on a big stage because big stages gives you a lot more room to jump around and move. And wow, that down air was pretty nice. I like. Both like heavyweights that actually have like pretty good combo potential overall, and they're both fighting combo food. 
which makes them pretty vulnerable overall. And the fact that these characters both have like really big spikes, they're not too super difficult to land. Uh, they can be a little risky to. Oh my god! How... I mean, yeah. All right, guys. Yeah, keep teabagging. Sure. <laughs> I mean, uh, see a mind wipe here? No? Alright. Oh my gosh, that range was nuts! DK definitely stuck his hand into the explosive plant up smash. Alright, good, uh, good switch in order to, uh... Oh my god, they're just, just taking blow for blow, dude. Unfortunately, he's not quite punishing the uh, the uppy on the platform that was whiffed, but that time he managed to do it. Very nice. And another cargo throw, but not able to get the kill. And oh my god, the reaction! That was pretty good. All right, I respect it. Not even like very unfortunate for Beast, but that was a good uh, that was a good reaction to the uh, the flare blitz. Hitting the the edge and not actually snapping, and like we still have like a pretty even game so far. Dan's getting those uh, those solid hits and able to keep Beast off of the stage and these interactions, dude. Oh, he went back to Zard. Very good choice. This might be it. No, he did not manage to actually hit Dan before he uh, got back over the ledge. All right, this time not managing, managing not to clank into the stage, but good dodge in. He had the he had the uh, the presence of mind to dodge roll to tech roll back towards the ledge to ensure that he was not going to get caught. And that uppy should be it. <laughs> These guys are just like bad, just BM, just bad managing, ban managing all over each other right now. I kind of dig it. They're both just feeling themselves and like, yo, let me just taunt. Let me just teabag. I, I mean, I'm feeling myself right now. This is nice. Just doing stupid stuff. <laughs> Why? Is there a moderator request for you guys? Devin, did you notice any packet drops? Let's see, if I get once. Uh, I mean, I'm going through the replay, so... Up until the last kill, Beast had only dropped a single packet. Other than that... Yeah, no, the whole thing was just a single packet drop. Okay, because Beast is complaining about, uh, about, about uh, input delay. But that would be ping, right? But I don't see, like, anything extraordinarily bad for ping. <laughs> It's always pretty green. I, mean, I'll, I can go back to yeah, the Yeah, it's been like 30s, playlist. right? It's usually in the 20s and 30s, yeah. Ooh. I got 12 in the low 20s. Then 30s. Like, yeah, it seems to be whatever. Okay. Obviously, I can only tell at the kills, but yeah. It seems fine. Okay, I mean that's just, that's what I wanted to know. Thank you. All right, so we're going to PS2. Interesting. I'm not sure why Dan didn't ban it again. If he did ban, it, if he even did ban it the first time, or if uh, what exactly Beast is uh, was thinking differently, I guess. Whew, nice spike coming out from Beast. Very well done. Taking the. Despite being kind of behind, it's like you make one mistake in this matchup and you immediately like get murdered. What the hell? Neither of them want to play on the stage. Just like, yeah, I respect it, bro. You just, you know, you, you get your kills off stage super easily. Apparently, why not just go for it? Well, Beast is uh, Beast is about to get sent to the losers if he, uh, if he loses this match. He's gotta be a little careful. Oh my god, the punch. I really like the uh, the cancelled uh, punch into jump into punch to back off. That was actually pretty good. Okay. 
Good Beast giving, uh, giving the space that is needed and getting a really good F smash. That was a reward for backing off. Very nice. Sometimes backing off can be extremely uh, valuable. And a really nice forward throw. Looked like it was DI'd well, but I guess Dan didn't realize they didn't have his job. It says, I'll be gonna kill. <laughs> oh my god. And like that, we're down to like, uh. We're down to the last sock of this game four. Uh, Dan's in a prime position to move on to Grand Finals, but, but Beast is trying his best not to let that happen. Ooh, that back air was so good! Is that gonna be it? Oh no! Beast barely misspaced that down air. He was off by so little! And that F oh, that was such a good F smash! Beast has like a pretty decent advantage, but he's gotta land first. He's gotta get some kind of stage control in order to really take advantage of this. And that up smash barely killing? Was that supposed to kill? There was no, uh, there was no thunder on it, so it might have actually been for DI. Which in these kind of situations can happen pretty easily when you're trying to, uh, when you're trying to respace yourself around someone. That was nuts. What is going on with this matchup? I mean, we have a 2-2 set. Whoever wins this next match is going to be uh, is going to be uh, moving on to grand to, to grand finals in winner's side. All right, let me just check on losers. All right, so we have Sourdough actually uh, defeating Mega 2-1 and is now waiting in losers' semis. And we have Arye up 1-0 versus Maltrad. Uh Ness is purported to be one of Pikachu's worst matchups, so that makes sense. Alright, so Beast is ready to play, but uh, we're still waiting on Dan the Man to hop back into the you know? Ah, there we go. Just jump in, frame one start. Let's go. And this is going to be the uh, the last the last match of the set, guys. Whoever wins this match is going to be uh, moving on to Grand Finals. Alright, we're going to town and city. Pretty, uh, pretty good choice. It does give, it does give, uh, DK some a little bit of extra space to breathe. Woo! But those back airs are so good. Oh, look at that squirt! Oh, he's gonna squirt. I think that's the most moves that uh, that Beast has ever done as Squirtle. All right, there he goes. That's more. That's more like it. Alright, yo, nice giant punch. Pretty hard to punish. I think this is the first time the Mega hasn't actually lost the stock immediately after taking Dan. And he's gonna wanna hold on to this because he wants a bleh. My dude, you're nuts! If that'd been any other stage, by the way, that up. Don't! Alright, good, uh, nice Vino to try to read the jump, but not quite getting it. And now Dan's actually getting some swings in. Are we gonna see a super early kill from Dan? Nope, not quite yet, but man, this is even again, jeez! Hey, both of these characters just, they just murder each other, dude, it's kinda nuts. Are you nice using the giant punch to, uh, to safely attack the ledge? And then immediately punishing the whiff. Zard up smash is super active, but it's not a very strong move for a smash attack, anyways. And there we go. That's gonna be the uh, the stock. And Dan is on his. <laughs> They're both on their last stock of the set.
Oh my god, that back air! That was so close! And the, full, the, the Dragon Claw is gonna take it! And Beast moves on to Grand Finals. And Dan the Man's knocked down to Loser's Finals. Alright guys, we have um, just a quick update for Top 8. So Sourdough beats Sensei to go fight Mega. And then Sourdough beat Mega to get into Loser's Semis. On the other side, we have Mouse Rat beating Stage Hazard to move on to Loser's Semis. And then, and now we have Arya versus Mouse Rat 1-1. Waiting, uh, fighting for the right to fight in loser semis, and the winner of loser semis will play Dan the Man in losers finals. Currently one one, should be over pretty soon. I guess we'll wait and see, guys. So if you guys are enjoying this hot smash action with this great Zard, this great DK, we hope you will subscribe to House, like House, follow House, favorite House. Poke house. That was, that, was, that was the thing on uh, on MySpace, right? Poking. Was that Facebook? It was Facebook.